Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, a new software that we're going to be working with today. Uh, this studio is going to be uh, Factor Top View Studio. Uh, I've mentioned that uh, before in class and uh, this uh, software will be used to design HMI programs. So uh, we should have already put a uh, desktop shortcut uh, so we'll just go ahead and double click Factor.View Studio and open up our software so we can get started. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, add a new application. So this right here is basically when you're going to start from scratch and make a new application. Uh, this is what you'll do. So uh, when you double click on it, it's going to automatically come up with the existing files. It will always come up this way every time. Uh, so we're going to go to a, a new because we're going to start brand new. We're going to give our application a name. And we'll stay with the same naming convention that we have been. Our initials, underscore, and then the day's date. It'll be starting with the year, the month, and the day. So uh, the only other thing we have to do is uh, you know, make sure our language is set correctly. We are going to use English. And the resolution. So uh, in this class, we have a Panavi Plus uh, 1000. Uh, installed in our uh, cabinets so we will be using that so if you hit that drop down you'll see all the different uh, models of touch screens that this uh, software can uh, program so we're going to make sure that it stays at this PV plus 700 slash 1000 and that's going to give the correct screen resolution so once you do that you're going to make sure that you click create and it will start creating all the uh, hardware defined uh, information based off the, the screen size and resolution and the screen uh, model like because they make a Panaview Plus 6 and a Panaview Plus 7 and there's uh, standards and performance models so it'll take a moment to create uh, create the project Don't worry if it takes some time to create the project because by now we're we're used to the computers taking some time. So don't worry as long as you see the little swirly, you're probably going to be okay. Once the software is populated uh, this area over here, then you'll know that it's that it's done. It's kind of like the, the Studio 5000 software that you'll have this Windows Explorer window over here to the left. And that's basically how you'll navigate uh, the design process uh, to add and delete screens and to add other features and functions uh, to your project. All right, so now it's finally populated. So there's a bunch of information over here to the left. And I didn't pause the video because I wanted you to see that it could take uh, a little time in order for it to completely finish with the uh, generation of uh, all this information. So it's still working. Um, and once it gets done, I'm clicking because I want that. Once I know it's completely finished, it will let me actually uh, scroll back up 
in this uh, Windows Explorer window. Okay, so now we know that it's completely finished because it's not. Uh, it's it's letting me uh, go up and down. Now, uh, one of the things I want to make sure that you know is that this is all there is to it to start a new application. So in in Studio 5, Studio Five Thousand we call them projects, but in Factory Type View Studio uh, it calls them applications. So basically, uh, if you think you all all of them are actually projects uh, but if you hear me saying anything about applications uh, then more than likely I am talking about a factory top view studio uh, file uh, and that is the design file the design file is the file that you will actually uh, create uh, all the information put it together uh, to actually put in your touch screen and then we'll actually have to at some point in time uh, create a runtime file and that is actually what's downloaded into the HMI because the HMI will not run uh, a design file the way it is right now so uh, this is all there is to it uh, about making a new application uh, there will be further videos on explaining uh, each of these things in detail uh, so uh, check that video out when it comes thanks